Alright guys, welcome to part 5 of Hacking Minecraft. In this video, what we're going to do is create a command base for our client. So we can type in commands in chat and it'll actually execute them to do stuff we want, like toggling hacks or keybinds. So um, yeah, first off, let's start by making a new package called your client name dot command and make a new class in there called command and let's check out this abstract right there so we're gonna have four methods in here public abstract string get alias public abstract string get description um, public abstract Oh Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. Public abstract string get syntax. And lastly, public abstract void on command. String command. String args. And lastly, we're going to write throws exception. And that should be good, yeah. So that's the command class right there. So whenever we extend um, command, it'll give all these methods in it. So next, let's make a new class called command manager. Oh, geez. And in here, let's have a instance variable of private array list made up of commands command commands um, import array list and let's make a constructor public command manager and let's do commands equals new array list um, next let's make a method public um, public void add command command c and commands dot add c so it adds a command to the array list next let's make a method to get the commands I, I've always capitalized the O I haven't missed it once Um, next, let's do public void call command. So this is going to be a huge method. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Alright. So, in here, let's start off by doing string split equals input dot split. Oh, I know what we did wrong string input and let's have it split every space string command equals split zero and string args equals input dot substring command dot length dot trim so, we're pretty much just, this is the command right here, if you do dot, uh, let's say toggle space fly, it'll, this will be toggle. Um, next, let's iterate through every command, command C, get commands, if C dot get alias dot equals ignore case command, try c dot on command um, args args dot split and then catch exception e and then in here let's do okay yeah now we need to go to our 
spike class or client class and let's make two methods um, one is going to be public void at public static void add chat message and let's put a parameter of string s in here and we're going to do minecraft dot get minecraft dot the player dot add chat message new chat component text and then let's have spike colon plus s cool so let's go back to command manager and do spike dot add message invalid command usage and then let's give them this actual write syntax of it c dot get syntax um so after this just hit return right here and then all at the bottom if it can't find it we're gonna do spike dot add chat message command not found so yeah this method pretty much just calls the command um, and we make this yeah so this is gonna be inside this right here so if we make an actual command it's gonna call this and this just handles everything if it doesn't work out well um, so let's go to spike class again and we're gonna need to do two methods these are gonna be really long methods so get ready public static boolean on send chat message string s if s dot starts oh of course I spelled something wrong s dot starts with a period or whatever you want the prefix to be like a dash toggle dot toggle um, whatever you want it to be I'm gonna do go up here make a new object private static oh my gosh command manager um, cmd manager and import that let's initialize that equals new command manager there we go so if it starts with a period then we're gonna do command manager dot call command s dot substring one and then in here return false next let's go through each module for module m get modules if m dot is toggled oops then we're gonna return m dot on send chat message s then delete this blank line I don't know why we have it and underneath the four just do return true so this method is done. Um, let's just write a note real quick. Entity player sp, because that's where we need to hook this method. Um, next, let's do public static boolean on receive chat message s02 packet chat packet for module M get modules if M dot is toggled then do return M dot on receive chat message packet and then at the bottom of this return true so last thing we need to do before we finish this video 
is we need to go to this class and net handler client client player client. <laughs> um so entity player sp that should be in this package right here. Open that up and I'm just gonna go to the note I left. So in send chat message do if spike dot on send chat message message put this in here. So pretty much what this does it just this is called every time there's a message sent. Um, so we can save that, close that, it's real easy. And then let's go into net the Minecraft .client network our net handler play client. So I left another note and if you can already guess we're gonna do if spike dot on received chat message packet in copy all this stuff and paste it in there so um yeah this should work in the next episode we'll create a bind hack so we can change the key binds of hacks and another one will toggle them so uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed and